Hello everybody, my name is Fred Hartman and I am the Director of Guest Programs at Liberty Science Center. And this is my lab partner, Colonel Quayle. And this is, my pet is my lab partner. Today, Colonel Quayle and I are going to show you how you can measure the volume of an object. Now, volume is how much space an object takes up. Colonel Quayle, would you like some fruit? Fruit is really good food to eat when you're about to measure volume. Now, the way we can do this is by taking objects and putting them in water and measuring how much the water changes. How much does the water rise up will show or be able to allow us to figure out how much space or volume that object has. And we're going to test the volume of quails, but not kernel quail. Kernel quail is way more comfortable in the desert taking a dust bath than she would be in some water. But we do have other quails. We have a stone quail and we have a glass quail. Kernel quail, you want to show us the, I think she's discovered the blueberry. All right. So we are going to test the volume of these two types of quails. We have our uh, measuring devices here, our measuring cups, and what we're going to be looking at is the milliliters. That is what we're going to use to get our volume. So first, we have our glass quail. You can see it is quite a bit smaller than kernel quail. And we are starting at about 300 milliliters. So we're gonna put our glass quail in the container. And we started at 300, and we can see that it has gone up to about 325 milliliters, which gives us 25, a difference of 25, and milliliters is exactly equal to centimeters cubed. And centimeters cubed is what we use for volume. So that is the volume of our glass quail. Kernel quail, what do you think about that? She thinks that is a fascinating result. So we are going to now try it on our stone quail. So we can put that one over there. We have our larger container for that. Would you like some? How about a strawberry? Strawberries were a big hit the other day. Want a strawberry? We got to bribe you to do a little science. Here, we'll, we got to squish up our strawberry a little bit. How about that? Yes, I know, you're a big star now. You are a big internet star now. So let's take a look at our stone quail. So it's about 800 milliliters to start, and we can put it in the container, right? And we'll see it's gone up to about 875. So 800 to 875, with a difference of 75, is just 75 centimeters cubed, right, Colonel Quail? So that's the volume of our stone quail. And you could do this with just about any object that you can fit into your measuring cup at home, and you'll be able to measure its volume. Thank you so much for joining us today.